In this session, we are going to discuss the Zord block available in the Logosop software. So, this is the block symbol of the Zord block. So, here it will be having two input lines and one output line will be here. So, now whenever we are not connecting any one of the input lines, then that unconnected or disconnected input line will be treated as connected with 0. So, we know the basic logic of Zord that means when inputs are unequal then output will be 1, when inputs are equal then output will be 0. So, let us go for the practical demonstration where we shall show you that how this Zord block can be used and how to implement the same the Zord block using the ladder diagram. So, let us go for the practical demonstration now. We know that Zord gate is having the boolean function that is a Zord b is equal to a bar b plus a b bar. Also, we can write the same boolean function in this way that is product of some terms that is a or b and a bar or b bar. So, let me implement the first boolean function. So, here we require i1 and i2 two inputs for depicting this a and b respectively. So, here we are having a zor b means a bar b. So, they are connected in series to depict this AND logic and then a b bar they are connected in series to depict the AND logic and this and this two uh, part they are working in parallel to, to depict the OR logic here. So, in this way the circuit has been made and now let us go for the simulation testing. In case of zor we know that if inputs are 0 and 0, output will be 0. If inputs are 1 and 1, output will be 0. When either one of them is 0 and other is 1, then output will be 1. So, the circuit has been tested. Now, let me go for the respective functional block diagram. So, I am clicking here. So, this is the respective functional block diagram. We are having one block that is our Zor block here. So, this is a Zord block and this is a Zord block we, block we are having and in, in this way the functional block diagram has become so simple to implement the Zord gate. So, let me go for the simulation. When both inputs are same that is 0 0 output is 0. When both inputs are 1 1 output is 0. When either one of them is 1 and rest of them is 0 then output is 1 respectively. So, in this way the circuit has been tested. Okay. Now, let me draw the circuit with the respect to the second boolean function. So, that is a plus b and a bar plus b bar. So, here we are doing the needful changes here. So, in this way we are having this a plus b and a bar plus b bar. So, let me go for the testing. So, when inputs are not same output is 1, when inputs are same that is 0 0 output is 0, 1 1 output is 0. So, this output is working fine. Let me go for the respective functional block diagrams. So, this is the respective functional block diagram we are having. So, this is our circuit. So, this is our OR. So, this is our OR. This is the respective AND and AND. Again, we are having OR. So, whatever we drew here, they have got depicted in the respective functional block diagram. So, let me go for the testing once again. So, when both inputs are same, output is 0. 
when both inputs are same then output is zero we are having when either one of them is on then output is on so the circuit is working fine so in this way we have tested the zol logic accordingly thanks for watching this video